Hey guys, this is Call Me Asian. I'm actually doing a quick video just to help some people out who are leveling alts, which is what I've been doing for the past while actually, so I'm sorry that I have not gotten any extra videos out. But basically, some of you may may know or may not know, there are hidden I items located throughout the Pandaren leveling zones. They you you pick it can be random statues to the most random things you'll find while just questing. And each each one, uh, you loot a specific item that sells for a pretty good amount. Actually, it's about a hundred gold. Um, some are a f about three, if I believe, are smaller, but they still give a decent amount of experience. And you may find uh, you may want to do them all. But uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the locations of all these items and hopefully give you give you a good boost into one of the levels of a specific zone maybe you hate or uh, just don't enjoy questing in. Um, but here it goes, and uh, thanks for wa watching, I hope you guys like it, and like and subscribe if you would please. Thanks. Okay guys, here is the first of many items to come. It is located in Valley of the Four Winds. If you'll see right here where I am located, it is in this general vicinity. It's Unfortunately, it's not accessible by people leveling, unfortunately, but I'm sure if you have a friend or another account with a flying mount with a level 90 who can get it on his two-seater mount or something and take you up here, it's, uh, it's fairly easy to get to, but it's actually fairly well hidden. It's up on the mountain. It's actually a cave hidden in some brush, but overall, fairly easy to find. You'll walk in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's the guy's some kind of a daily, but it's going to be right here. It's going to be a treasure chest, and you're going to right-click that, and it'll give you a loot of, of whatever the item is, and it'll give you about 500k experience, I believe, and give you the item which sells for about 100 gold. Here's the location on the map, specifically, of where the cave is. Hey guys, here's the second location of a hidden item in Mr. Pandaria. It is also in Valley of the Four Winds. It's a little bit off the off the map, to be completely honest with you. It's going to be right over here on the ridge, really close to uh, Jade Forest. Jade Forest is literally right across the river, but it's going to be in this little house. It's I've already gotten these, so I'm having a little bit of trouble showing the exact item. But it's going to be on this table, I believe. It's going to be like a little scroll, paper, whatever. It doesn't give very much experience com compared to the others, but it's a little chunk and it gives uh, an item also that sells gold. And if I'm not mistaken, these things go towards an achievement. But uh, that's the second one. Their location is here. And uh, good luck, and here's the next one. For the third Pandaren treasure, you're going to be going to Karasan Wilds, or Karasan, whatever. Uh, it's south of Valley of the Four Winds. It's it's pretty far south. If you don't have a friend flying you around, I recommend it uh, if they have the two-seater mount because you're going to be running quite a bit to get these items. This is one of the few that doesn't give much experience as well, um, but it's it's a it's a help. It is right here where you'll see me. It's on this mountain, which you'll see me go get now. Once you get on top of this mountain you'll see a bunch of dead gnomes actually and over here to the right you'll see a stack of papers. You're gonna right click it and you'll get your item and your experience and that item will sell from sell from a little bit but uh, if I remember correctly the name is like uh, something gnomes lost but papers I believe something like that. Uh, but that's the third one and let's go get on to the fourth. Hey guys, here's the fourth hidden Pandaren item that you will find in, uh, actually, Valley of the Four Winds as well. It's not as easy to find as the others, because what you'll see here is the there's a large pathway that leads actually from Valley of the Four Winds to Kunlai Summit right here. Uh, it's going to be west of Pangstead, follow the mountainside all the way to uh, Grassy Klein. Valley of the Four Winds and you're gonna walk up those steps. When you get there you're going to take a right at this village right here and you're gonna follow this all the way down and get to here which is the edge of this mountain. It's gonna actually the mallet is right here on top of this stone slab. It is 
it gives you a nice chunk of experience and the item sells for 100 gold as well. And fun fact, on the side of this mountain there's actually a Sungraze Behemoth. If you kill it, it drops a item for uh, that has three, uh, three charges I believe that you can turn into, uh, basically turn into him, or I believe you're actually riding him, and he goes uh, at an increased way faster than a mount does, but uh, it lasts like, I don't know, 8 to 12 seconds and you can literally run across the map with them. It's just a fun item to have to uh, for occasionally to freak people out if you want. But uh, yeah, there's the fourth item for the for the treasure guide. Alright guys, the um, the fifth Pendaren item is actually in Karasing Wilds. It's gonna look like here I'm in uh, Valley of the Four Winds. This is the exact location you're gonna find it. But actually, it's in a cave right here, where I'm pointing my mouse. It's just uh, west of Zoo's Watch, literally. Uh, once you go inside, you take a right, go up to where you see this, this pile of rubble, and next to it, against this rock right here, you will see a stone tablet. If I'm not mistaken, it's called like a Ciroc stone tablet or something. You'll, you'll get quite a bit of experience off this one, and it sells for 100 gold. Uh, and that's the fifth item. I'll, uh, here go, here's the sixth one in just a second. Hey guys, here's the location of the sixth Pandaren hidden treasure item. It is south of the Jade Forest. You will find it offshore, actually. It's going to be on an island right underneath where, uh, of my location, actually. But uh, it's under a shipwreck. It's going to be a little treasure chest about right here. Once you open it, you're going to get uh, quite a big chunk of money, and it sells for about 100 gold, as well as the rest. But uh, like I said, it's it's not on NJ4, it's, it's south of the continent and the, um, the, <laughs> the sea, so you're going to have to kind of get a move on if you're wanting to get there. But it's fairly easy to find, there's a few shipwrecks out here, but overall, it's it's pretty, pretty open, it's fairly easy to find. But uh, alright, next up is the seventh one. Alright, for the seventh uh, Pandaren treasure item, you're going to have to go to Jade Forest. And in Jade Forest, it, this is a fairly... It's fairly close to uh, Tian Monastery. It's uh, a little bit to the east, as you can see where I'm at right now. If you follow this road up here to this, uh, to this fork, you can just basically head east and you'll hit it. Um, it's on the side of this mountain. When you see this pathway, you're going to go up the path and you're going to see this fountain. The uh, the item is actually inside the fountain. It's a Pandaren Lucky Coin. It gives quite a bit of experience and also sells for 100 gold. And uh, that's the seventh item, and the eighth is coming up next. All right, guys, here we have the eighth Pandaren item. It is also in Jade Forest. It is near the seventh, what I showed before, but it's fairly hidden to the naked eye. Uh, you're going to follow this road all the way up to Camp Nuka Nuka. <laughs> and uh, you're going to follow that road straight up and you're going to see this waterfall here and it's actually going to be right here on this table. It is a Pandaren teapot. It gives uh, quite a bit of experience and I think it also sells for uh, 100 gold. Um, there's the 8th and here's the ninth. Alright, for the ninth Pandaren item, it's going to be also in Jade Forest. It is going to be in the middle of this lake here. It's this island, which you'll see looks like a graveyard kind of thing, I guess, where you would res if you die. But in the middle, you'll see a small ritual stone. It looks like these, but it's quite a lot smaller. Uh, it's called a Pandaren Ritual Stone. It sells for 105 gold and gives a lot of experience. Alright guys, for the 11th Pandaren item, you are going to find this in uh, the Jade Forest, actually Southern Jade Forest, Paw Dawn Village to be exact, right next to it, you're going to find, well, actually where I am right now, you're going to find this little altar kind of thing. It's fairly well hidden to be, to be honest with you, but I, I managed to find this one without any assistance at all if my friends are not giving me a ride to places, but uh... It's going to be right here on top of this. You're going to see like an incense burning. Uh, right click the incense and it gives you a, a debuff. It's like a haunted thing. You're, you're haunted for chastise or something like that. But uh, it gives you a hefty sum of experience. And I think it also sells for 100 gold. Okay guys, for the 12th hidden Pandaren item, you're going to be going to Town Long Steps. 
where this is, is it, there's a canyon down here in Southern Town Long where a lot of these little miniature creatures spawn. Um, you're going to go down into the canyon, you're going to start heading back like into this little area and it'll be actually to your right in between these two hills on the ground it'll be, it'll be like some kind of resin or something on the ground and you'll pick that up you'll get a lot of experience and it also sells for 100 gold and that's the 12th item next up is this one okay the 13th pandaren item is actually a little bit tricky it's in town launch steps if you look at my map you'll see me located here near Creves, this humongous tree in the middle of the, the continent. It's actually, the item itself is a resin that spawns around this tree in a random location. It can be anywhere on the tree. Not up in the tree, obviously, but on the ground, in between the roots, uh, even on the roots, I believe. But uh, it gives quite a bit of experience and sells for 100 gold. Uh, but keep in mind it is random around the tree so you're gonna have to probably go around a few times to find it but it's it's fairly obvious it has the little sparkles coming off of it and it's it's not hard to see but uh, alright here's the next one alright guys for the 14th item it's uh, in town long steps actually it's in a cave if you go to um, shadow pan garrison here you're gonna cross that bridge and go to Nazao temple directly to the west in the Zao Temple, there's a cave. Once inside that cave, it's actually fairly easy to find this. You go through the cave and then take a right when you first get the chance and come down here. It's going to be right in the area I'm at. It's right here. You're going to come back to this back. Ah, sorry. Come back here to this area and it's going to be stuck in between these rocks. Don't remember what it's called, but I know you get a, uh, one of the large chunks of experience and uh, it sells for 100 gold. Alright, here comes the next one. Alright guys, for the 15th uh, Pandaren treasure item, you're going to be going in Town Log Steps again. Uh, but this one actually isn't well found. There's also a rare spawn up here that drops a, an epic bag, big bag of arms that drops like sometimes you get to drop BOE so you can sell them in the auction house. Um, but it's actually at the northern tip of Town Long. It's right here where I'm at. You're going to come down here. And I don't really want to kill the NPC right now, but it's inside this tent. It's going to be laying right there on top of that uh, little bedding right there. You'll loot it, you'll get a large amount of experience, and uh, get a lot of ex uh, or sell it for about 100 gold. That, that guy doesn't have much health, he has your basic amount. He has less than a rare's HP. He uh, belongs to a quest, but uh, I wouldn't worry too much about him. He doesn't do anything really special. You can kill him fairly easily. Alright, for the 16th Pandaren item, it's in Kunlai. It's very close to the big wall leading to Town Long. Actually, right there is the uh, Horde Vendors. And right down here, inside of this uh, this rubble here, you're gonna f it's like the, the Journeyman's Journal or something like that. But uh, it gives a large amount of experience and sells for 100 gold. Also, there is a uh, rare that spawns right here. It's named Skithic. He uh, gives about... 300k experience if you kill him and give it drops a, a decent item that's random so it's not designated to your class uh, if you're if you're lucky you'll get it though but uh, that's the uh, 15th item here comes the next one all right guys here's the 17th item uh, truthfully I'm not sure if this is actually a Pandaren treasure because it was just randomly found and it doesn't give as much experience as the rest but it gives some gold and a little bit of experience but uh, the location is right here it is a uh, east of Kota Base Camp, but it's in the mountain, uh, this set of mountains right here that you'll see. Uh, it's easy to get to, you just literally run up the hill. It's inside this cave right here. Inside the cave is a level 88 quest guy named Momo. Uh, it's a quest line, but right behind him is a uh, chest that uh, you open up and it drops the, uh, the, the money and the experience. It's easy to find. Um, I'm sure you guys will have no problem. Alright, here's the next one. Alright, for the 18th item, it's actually in another cave, but this one is in Kunlai Summit. It is uh, east of one keg. This cave right here is the uh, the entrance to where the item is. The item is actually itself in the back of the cave. You're going to have to run all the way through it. There is monkeys and stuff like that you will have to kill. Even a little quest guy right behind me that uh, has 500k HP, not a problem though, I'm sure. 
Um, if you are not phased and have not done these quests, there will be a uh, NPC here that is a quest guy in a, in a cage. But directly behind that lies a chest, which is the experience item itself. You uh, open that, it gives you the item to sell for the 100 gold, and uh, as you open it, it gives you the, uh, the, the a lot of experience. So, but uh, alright, let's get on to the next one. Alright, for the 19th Pandaren item, it is also in Come Life. It's a little bit harder to find than the rest. Uh, it is northeast of one keg. You are going to go up into the mountains and find the location I am right now. Uh, right behind me there is a pathway that walks up into this little uh, little cave here. And the item itself lies on right next to this statue. It's You'll notice it right when you see it. It gives a, a large amount of experience and sells for 100 gold. Also, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it uh, gives 50 gold itself to it. Alright, let's get to the next one. For the twin 20th Pandaren item, it is in Kunlai. It is actually in another cave. This one isn't very hard to find. It is a cave north of one cave. Uh, follow up north, and once you get to this cave, uh, there's a bunch of little gremlin type people inside that, uh, and just as a heads up, if you walk over the snowballs on the ground, they will spawn people. Um, to attack you but once you get inside the cave it is fairly easy to find this you're going to here's the entrance you're gonna walk around come up straight for, to the top when you come here you're gonna go uh, to the upper level not go down to the lower level and you're gonna take this path and come directly where I am from there you'll see a chest right here and it's the same as before you you open it up you get experience you get an item that sells for a lot of gold here's the 20 First, uh, Pandaren item. It is in Kunlai Summit. It is east of Temple of the, or uh, sorry, west of Temple of the White Tiger. It is in a cave, right where my cursor is. You will walk inside this cave and go straight until you see some mobs called Lost Souls. The item itself, if you take a right and come over here behind this uh, statue, it's going to be leaning up against this. It's going to be some kind of tablet. Uh, just loot it and get your experience and your item, and uh, I'll see you at the next one. Alright, for the 22nd item, it is going to be in Kunlai Summits. If you see me over here, this is my cursor. Uh, I am north of Temple of the White Tiger. I'm actually in the river that you see over here to the east of it. Uh, if you go all the way up that river to where it ends, there's going to be this big pond at the end of a waterfall. At the bottom of this pond is a uh, statue of a uh, a shadow pan tiger, what it looks like to me. Um, that's the hidden item. Once you uh, actually uh, gather that and get your experience in your item, you can come to the next one. Alright guys, here is the 23rd and final Pandaren treasure item. Uh, is located in Kunlai. It is uh, northwest of Western Rest, where you see my cursor right now. Um, it is in Mogulia, if I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but it is randomly spawning in this little ruins right here. Um, it's called a Terracotta Head. It's this right here. I, this is the only one I haven't gotten at the moment. But uh, what you see here, uh, find all the treasures of Pandaria. Uh, earn 40 points. I'm pretty cool with that. Uh, but it's a hundred gold sell, and you'll get probably about 500k experience from these. Well, the ones that sell for about a hundred gold. Uh, but uh, all right, guys, I have to say thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys again in my next video, which is most likely going to be PvP on my main, which is my mage. This guy's just my grinder. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.